Hey guys, so in celebration of World Maker Fair starting up this weekend back in New York, I wanted to go ahead and do something special. So I went on Thingiverse and I found this model. It's a robot. It's a Maker Fair robot. Uh, I believe it's from 2014. It looks like a pretty cool model. I wanted to go ahead and, and see if the printer will print it. Uh, it looks it really looks like a nice model. So I want to try it with something different. So I went ahead and I picked up over at Fry's Electronics. I picked up this MG Chemicals Premium 3D printer filament. It's a PLA, a silver color. I'm going to give that a shot and see how it prints. And so I will see it in the time lapse. Okay, so that took 7 hours and 21 minutes. Go ahead and turn the printer off here. So far, so good. Let's check to see if it looks like it printed all right. It looks like it printed okay. Let's see if I can get it off the print bill plate. So far, so good. Go ahead, pop. <laughs> there. So we got the head loose. Let's see if we can loosen up the arms here. I got some stringing underneath here. So I was worried about with this filament. I'm. I've tried adjusting the temperature on it. On another print and I don't know I be honest with you I'm not that big of a fan of this filament <laughs> I thought it was going to be a better filament than the Jackson I was using but I honestly don't believe it is yeah it's not breaking loose and that could just be the model itself. I'm not sure. This is the first time I've ever tried to print it. I mean, the outside of the quality is all right, but I know my printer prints better than this. Tell you what, I'm just going to go ahead and reprint this in the blue hatch box. That's my strongest film that I got that I'm confident with. So I'm going to go ahead and set this back up. Try print it with that, and let's just see if it loose if the model is looser, or if it's this filament. I did scale this model up, so it should have more gaps than the original model would have. So let me go ahead and set this back up, do another time lapse, and I'll see you at the end of that.
Hey guys, so this one took 8 hours and 7 minutes. Uh, while it was printing, I did turn down the speed down to 85% uh, to see if it would uh, work a little bit better. Uh, I did have a failure on the previous one where the, uh, the arm actually fell apart while it was printing. So I went ahead and, and changed some settings while it was... I, I started up a new print. Um, I turned down the temperature just a hair, turned it down to 195 and then I turned down the print speed down to 85 to see if that would help out and it looks like it has. Let's see, it came right off the bill plate. Right off the bat the arms are better on this one because they're moving. I got some movement there. Okay, so I still have some stringing underneath these arms, same as I did with the, the silver model. Head's already loose. Let's see. Okay, that hip came loose. Foot came loose. Uh, come on, how about his knee? Let's see if I can get his knee to. Yep, his knee just loosened up. Let's do his foot first, his knee. And his other hip. There we go. Okay, so he loosened up a whole lot easier than the silver one. Now the silver one, I took and played with it and played with it. And it took me about 20 minutes of just playing with it on and off. And I finally got him loosened up. Okay. So let's take a look at these two. If I get them to stand up right. <laughs> there we go. As you can see, the hatch box has got a shinier look to it, where the this other uh, this the MG Chemicals, it's uh, not quite as shiny. But finish-wise, I like the hatch box better. But at first I thought that the filament was the biggest issue when it came to the stringing on the back. Now mind you, there's no support material. That was a pretty steep angle for, for no support. And actually the silver looks like it might have done a little better. Yeah, pretty close to the same. It's not bad. At first I thought the silver was just kind of a... A weaker filament but it, all in all it's not bad just gives it a different look though I think they turned out alright though let's see if I can do some zooming in here so you can see the layers on that one zoomed in right Looks pretty good except for that part, which honestly, this is the angle that it printed at right there. Which is what? That's uh, less than 45%. That's more like about maybe 35%. Which it should have, I should have used uh, support material on that by all rights. But all the directions said no support material, so I didn't do it. And probably if I adjusted the temperature more on the silver one, I probably, because it looks like it had a little bit of a split there, I might have been able to get a little bit better uh, result out of it. But one thing I did notice on the silver is it feels, let me zoom back out here, it's brittle. I was noticing that uh, when I changed out this earlier. It's a lot more brittle than the, the hatch box. Let's see, I think this is some of my hatch box right here. See, I take it. There, you got a little bit to break off. This is not even the part of it, the roll that I'm using now. The roll I'm using now is fresher. But it's, it's not near as brittle as that silver. So, I mean, the silver's going to work out all right, but honestly, if I have my choice between the two, I always go with the hatch box. 
or even with the Shaxon, it's it's still the better filament. So I'm not planning on buying any more of this. They do, I believe this brand also carries a brass or bronze uh, material. I might try it, but as far as getting the this type of PLA, I probably won't mess with it anymore. It just don't. It doesn't seem like it's worth it. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like a pretty nice print. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I um, I still have that drawing going on for the fractal pyramid, uh, so I'll put a link to that uh, video in the video description, and I'll also put it up here in the corner. Uh, if you want to click on that and check that video out and enter into the drawing for that, uh, it'll be closing up on Wednesday at uh, 11, I believe it's 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday the 5th. And so I'll plan on uh, choosing a winner on Thursday, and I might just go ahead and wait off on posting a video on Wednesday and just go ahead and post a video on Thursday seeing who, who won it. Anyway, if you like the video, like I said, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to support the channel, uh, please check out my Patreon. I'll put a link to that right up here. And uh, I'm not really pushing it, but I, I do have a Patreon campaign going on. So if you're interested in helping out the channel, I'd sure appreciate it. Well, thank you very much. Have a great day, and take care. Bye.